travel has always been a blend of excitement and frustration. Whether it's planning a dream vacation or dealing with the long lines at the airport. But here's one thing that travelers dread the most. The rising cost of the airplanes. And now with two major US airlines planning to merge, your next trip can be more expensive to the United States. Well, you're watching Times XP and I am Dhriti Atri. Alaska Air and Hawaiian Airlines, two major players in the industry, are on the verge of merging, a move that promises to reshape the skies. The news came out on a quiet Tuesday, creating waves in the industry. Alaska Air is poised to take over Hawaiian Airlines in the deal worth $1.9 billion. But this isn't just a simple business transaction. It's a shift that could affect millions of travelers. Well, the United States the Department of Justice, which is known for keeping a close eye on big mergers to prevent monopolies, made an unexpected decision. They decided not to challenge this particular merger, allowing to deal more forward without any antitrust lawsuit. Well, this is significant because together these airlines will control not only flights but also hefty $9 million of Hawaiian Airlines debt. Both airlines have been quick to assure passengers that this merger would be a good thing. They promise that both brands will continue to exist and the number of non-stop routes will increase, especially for those who are living in Hawaii. For many, this sounds like a win more routes, more options and potential better service. However, not everyone is convinced with this particular merger that it will benefit the traveller. Katie Nastro, who speaks for the flight aggregator site Going.com, has voiced a concern that echoes through the corridors of the travel industry. So basically, in an interview with Fox Business, she pointed out that when two airlines with the overlapping routes merge, it doesn't usually lead to cheaper flights. Instead of that, it could mean the opposite. Few budget-friendly options. A natural perspective is grounded and a recent case that shook the industry. The attempted merger between JetBlue and Spirit Airlines was a prime example. Now, this $3.8 billion deal was halted by a judge who ruled that it would violate antitrust laws, ultimately driving up fares and reducing the competition. Spirit Airlines, known for its ultra-low-cost flights, plays a crucial role in keeping the ticket price down. Losing it as a competitor would have likely led to higher cost of passengers across the board. Now, here is the big question. Why did the Department of Justice decide not to block Alaska-Hawaiian merger? Well, that remains a mystery for sure. The DOJ has been an aggressive in challenging the potential monopolies, yet they chose not to interfere in this one. This decision was especially puzzling because if Alaska Airlines and Hawaiian Airlines merge, they would control 8.4% of the domestic market share. And this is according to the latest data from the Bureau of Transportation Statistics. That's a substantial piece of a pie, one that could influence price and options for the travellers. In conclusion, as the merger moves closer to becoming a reality, passengers are left with wonders what the future holds. With the promises of more routes and better service come true. Or will this concern about the higher price and few budget options that prove to be accurate? Well, the skies above most are clear, but the future of air travel remains uncertain as this story continues to unfold. For more such information, do follow Times XP.